Hi there, I'm Remington, and today we're gonna dig into understanding HubSpot's objects and what the new custom objects that they talked about in their unveiling today was. Now, it's really, really important to understand how multi-relational databases work. So historically, if you had an email tool like Constant Contact or MailChimp, you had a one-dimensional list. It was a list of contacts that would have field data, essentially one spreadsheet, and it would be all of the different contacts that you had. Now, those contacts, you could have multiple people from the same company, you could have some people that were customers or not customers, and the only way to identify who those people were were in, with field data. So where field data comes in is you get to understand who's a customer, who's a sales opportunity, maybe who purchased a type of product, but what you don't get to see is the other dimensions. And while as marketers, we can get pretty creative, it's not really scalable when we start talking about growing a business to be able to do this one dimensionally. So fast forward to HubSpot CRM, or really any CRM at this point. Right? CRMs now take that contact database, that one dimensional database, and they convert that into a relational database with the add addition of, you have contacts already, companies, tickets, or deals or opportunities, depending on how you look at it. Now, depending on the CRM, you're gonna have some additional ones. In HubSpot, we also have products, we have quotes, and now the option for custom objects. What's incredible about these features is it allows a multitude of different ways that you could operate using HubSpot. And one of the biggest pictures that I wanna paint for you is the ability to shape the CRM around your company instead of trying to fit your company processes into a platform. We don't want to make these systems that are hard to operate for our internal teams, and we definitely don't want the experience to be problematic for the customers. Having all of our data in one spot in this multi-relational database allows for you to get some really, really advanced inner workings of understanding who your customers and prospects are, as well as being able to serve people proactively. And that's where customer success comes in. So as we go through some of the examples, there's gonna be a link in the description of this video that will tie into different use cases and ultimately will show you what we think are the top 10 custom objects that you would want in HubSpot. If you have any other questions, please let us know and make sure you subscribe to see any other additional videos.